Strategies for Addition and Subtraction Addition When using addition, we join two groups to find out how many there are in all. Keywords to look for in an addition problem are add, join, or in all. The numbers in an addition problem are called the addends. The answer in an addition problem is called the sum. One strategy that can make addition easier is counting on. To use the counting on strategy in addition, we say the larger of the two addends and count on for the smaller addend. For example, 8 plus 3. 8 is the larger addend, so say 8 and count 3 more. 8, 9, 10, 11. So the sum of 8 and 3 equals 11. 2 plus 7. 7 is the larger addend. So say 7 and count on 2 more. 7, 8, 9. So 2 plus 7 equals 9. The count on method works best if the smaller addend is a small number such as 1, 2, or 3. Another strategy to make addition easier is making 10. We can find the sum of an addition problem by making a 10 when one of the addends is 9. Making an addend 10 will make a difficult addition problem into one that is easier to add mentally. When one of the addends is 10, it is easier to add because there is a zero in the ones column. Take for example, 9 plus 5. If you make 9 10 by taking 1 from the 5, the 5 changes to a 4 and the 9 changes to a 10. Now we have 10 plus 4, which is equal to 14. So 9 plus 5 must also equal 14. The making 10 strategy also works well with add-ins of 7 or 8. Take for example, 7 plus 6. If we make 7 10, you have to take 3 away from 6. So 7 changes to 10, and 6 changes to 3. 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. So 7 plus 6 must equal 13. 6 plus 8. We can change the 6 to a 10 by taking 4 away from 8. So 6 changes to 10, and 8 changes to 4. 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. So 6 plus 8 must also equal 14. Subtraction When we subtract, we take away a number of objects from a group and count to find out how many are left. Keywords to look for in a subtraction problem are subtract, take away, remain, or are left. The answer for a subtraction problem is called the difference. One strategy that will make subtraction easier is counting back. When counting back, we can do it mentally or use a number line. We can mentally subtract 9 minus 3. Say 9 and mentally count 3 back. 9, 8, 7, 6. So 9 minus 3 equals 6. We can also use a number line. Find the number 9. Now count back three numbers to find the difference. Start on the 9 and go back 1, 2, 3. Notice we ended on the 6. This means that 9 minus 3 equals 6. Another strategy to make subtraction easier is using addition to subtract. We can use addition facts to help us find the difference in a subtraction problem. Take for example 15 minus 9. We think of the related addition problem. If we had 9 circles, how many more circles would we need to get 15? In other words, 9 plus what is equal to 15? The answer is 6. So if 9 plus 6 is equal to 15, then 15 minus 9 must equal 6. Knowing your related addition facts 
or fact families is very helpful for this strategy.